So often you see really inefficient pieces of wiring here telling you something about embryonic development. Some of the time, you also see nutty pieces of wiring telling you something about the evolutionary history of this nervous system. Here's one example, and this is one outside of the limbic system, but great demonstration of this having to do with some motor systems in the brain. Okay, you're here, and you decide what you would like to do is bend this one finger. What would be the logical thing? Some part of the cortex up here involved in motor control that we're not interested in should send a message down to this finger saying, bend. No, that's not what happens. One part of this motor system called the pyramidal nervous system sends a message to all five of your fingers saying, do this. Meanwhile, there's another motor system called the extrapyramidal system that quickly sends down a signal and says, if you happen to hear the pyramidal system tell fingers one, three, four, and five to bend, don't pay attention to it. And suddenly, you got this going on. Like, what is this? A committee that came up with this? This is totally crazy, inefficient wiring until you think about the evolution of the system. As follows, there's not a whole lot of species out there that have a need in terms of reproductive success to play trills on the piano. There's not a whole lot of species that have to do independent movement of fingers. The basic wiring of this motor system is one of this crude pyramidal system of just sending messages down the line there, extend claws, retract, all that sort of thing. And along come primates and raccoons and a few other things that suddenly get in their heads to move fingers independently. So you've got a choice at that point. You can either renovate the entire pyramidal system and rip it out and rewire so that each finger is controlled independently and that's never going to work because, you know, the contractor doesn't show up and it's been a million years. Or what you do is you have to come up with a second newer system that's superimposed on top. Totally ass backwards, inefficient way of it. What does that tell you? The extra pyramidal system is more recently evolved. It is more of a primate system. And that's where you get the fine control. What you often see is bits of really clunky wiring and regulation. It tells you things about embryonic life and it tells you about evolution. Back to this classic quote, which is evolution is not an inventor, evolution is a tinkerer. It is just playing with what's already there and trying to come up with something better. That was the idea from lectures ago, which all things considered, squid do not swim anywhere near as fast as barracuda, but for something that used to be a barnacle, they're pretty good swimmers. You have to realize where things started and where the adaptations came from.